is deep here. And before we just up, you guys be sure to like, can we smash 10 likes on this video? In this awesome video, guys, we are going to be detailing Skyblock. So, Skyblock Adventure, basically. It's the most original Skyblock server to ever exist on Better Edition. Uh, so, the first thing you want to do, probably what you want to do, is create your island. So, you do slash is create, and then it will pop. Oh, no, you don't want to see my derpy face, you don't care. So, as you can see, I am on my island. Uh, obviously, it will be a different island, it's just there's a bit glitch currently so it's you know but yeah let's just clear some of our stuff and get rid of all this i'll be back in just a second once i've done that i am back so the first thing you probably would want to do is break grass but you can't actually break grass with your fist it will say you must use a shovel to break that um now the only way you can actually have to start up at this point or start out is by breaking wood um now if we break some wood we can actually get um oak wood as you probably would know. Um and yeah, oh that thing turned wood, alright. Um which is what I want to show you later on in the video. Um and also we got a crafting skill level one. Um so yeah, let's just craft uh, you probably would need at least a few wood I'll tell you how much in a second but basically the basically in normal sky block you would have to manually create a ore generator which can be hard work not just that but it can also be like it can also be messed up after a while if you've like messed up one bit or if you're just tired and sick of having to use the same old trick no guys not in this one so basically uh, with this one, all you need to do is craft all generator. As you can see here, this is basically what it looks like now. If I actually know I can't break that, but um, that's pretty what it looks like. Because in normal sky block, you'd have to use water, obsidian, no, not yeah, water and lava. So that would be the main issue because of the water source and lava doesn't always go together, and it's just caused many issues. Well, <clears throat> glad to tell you, with this kind of sky block, you can actually um craft one manually which I'm going to show you in just a second how to do now in order to create uh, a crafting tape uh, not a crafting tape in order to create a ordinator you need three down there uh, so like that two on the sides and boom so that's how you create you need at least uh, eight wood oak wood I think one two three four five six yeah eight you need at least eight oak wood to craft an ore generator now I'm not sure if you want to do that later on in the in the adventure or you want to do it before it is totally up to you but it, I guess it depends on how much wood you've got really um, but yeah you can actually craft it and use that to craft your ores and stuff not ores but like you can use it to mine your ores and whatnot pretty self explanatory and as you can see um, so yeah I want to show you the uh, how that works later but um, you need more levels to like not, well you need a bit of um, pickaxe to actually mine most of these. Okay, so say if you lost a sapling, so you know I'm I'm I can't get any more. So you know we don't we haven't got any saplings from this. We're totally screwed right now. If that was normal sky block, but it's not. So um, basically we would be screwed right now if this wasn't any other sky block server. No saplings equals nothing really. But no, this Skyblock server actually has its own farm system where we'll show you in just a second what it does. So if you go to slash farm or slash farms, I don't know what that does, but uh, if you go to slash farms, you'll be teleported right here. Now, this farm doesn't just have wheat, carrots, and etc. Et but it actually has spawners that you can grind mobs with uh, using a sword as you progressively get more. And you can also mine trees as well. Now, unlucky for us, we didn't actually have any uh, trees or any um, axe. So if we do give ourselves axe. Keep in mind, guys, some of these durabilities are very, very quick and they will run out very quickly. The only solution is to get a better um, axe, which you can probably do later in the series. But I guess you can craft more as you get more wood. Um, but yeah, the point is, it is pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, we are getting ourselves some uh, awesome 
As you can see, we've got ourselves some saplings. So the sapling crisis is now over. We don't need to worry about any more saplings. We can go, let's go. And we've got ourselves a set. Basically, how you get farming levels. So farming um, levels are essentially a good way to um, to level up your um, your skill, which we'll be showing you later in the video. So as you can see, we've got ourselves a wooden hoe. But if you do such farms, it will teleport you here. I'm not sure if it's been grown yet. But as you can see, if we go down here, you will see that we've got our source from growing vegetables, aka wheat. Well, this wheat is like the default level. But if you try breaking any other things, such as carrots or sugar canes, you won't be able to do it unless you've succeeded a certain level, which I guess is one of the perks you can use to advance that. Um, but there's a lot of mobs in there. I'm surprised there's a lot. Um, but the main you want to go for is the um, the grown vegetables, which in my opinion is pretty cool. And now already my um, animal. <laughs> Yeah, it does go pretty quickly. We might fix that very soon, we're not too sure. But again, this is something that we might fix. Uh, why did I get myself an axe? That's a bit dumb. Oh, there we go. We don't want that. So as you can see, if we get ourselves enough, we can actually level up. But obviously you might want to bring a few of those just in case. We may fix that in the future, but we're not sure yet, obviously. Can you move, please? Thank you. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we, that should be enough. But obviously, they will regrow back every 30 seconds, which is pretty cool. Skills menu. So if we go to slash skills, I'll show you all the skills there is. We may add more in the future, but for now, these are the current ones. Uh, so you've got the all of the ones, like you got all the main primary skills, and you got the sub uh, secondary skills, aka sub skills. The primary skills are from the first row to the second, uh, up to defense, and from third row and below, all of these are secondary. So, you got farming, you've got uh, mining, you got enchanting, you got wood cutting, you got fighting, you got fishing, you got archery, you got breeding, you got magic, you got alchemy, excavating, crafting, herbalism, and defense. Get it, post? It's defense. Get it? No. Okay, I'm d I'm bad. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, you got defense, and these are the secondary starting from sugar canes. Now I don't know why it's spelled sugar instead of sugar, but we'll fix it very soon, hopefully. But you've got all the farming materials from sugar canes to beetroot. You got sugar canes, uh, wheat, carrots, potato, melon, pumpkin, leatherwort, and beetroot. Now these are all the mining materials. You got coal ore, iron ore. Lapis lizard or resident or gold or emerald or diamond or level quartz or and generic mining. So it's general mining is basically where you um mine for um for like diamonds for example when you get that as a level. Pretty cool indeed. And then you've got uh fighting skills which is sword, um and then you've got well and bow as well, but I don't know. Um and then well bow's part of archery, sword's part of fighting, so either way. And you've got mining which is a pickaxe. Um, and then axe is for wood cutting, shovel is for excavating, and hoe is for farming. And you've got bow, which is for archery, unarmed, which is um, part of fighting, I believe. And you've got fishing rod, which is a part of fishing, uh, fishing um, skill there. And you've got shears, shield. So two things good about this. One thing is shears actually work on the server so you can share sheeps and you can receive mcmmo or skills well, i should call it skills because it's not really mcmmo it's a type of skill but um but yeah and then you've got shield so shields actually work on the server which i'll be showing you later on in the video and then you've got crushing so crushing basically your question table which is pretty dope indeed the enchanter now the enchanter is currently not finished it is still currently in beta so there may or alpha so i should say because there is some things that aren't really fully complete but we're hoping to plan on fixing these soon. By the way, the um, there's only one perk at the moment. We may add more in the future, but we're not sure yet. We're, we're still thinking of ideas. But there's two upgrade points available for this pickaxe. Um, you can basically use these two uh, two upgrade points for whatever you want. At the moment, you can only use it on uh, a duplication, but we do plan to make this larger later on. Um, but yeah, you can use that. As you can see, we have upgraded our duplication to level 2. Now, how the duplication system works is, as you can see in the uh, description, uh, it says increases chance of duplicate items and EXP up to 2 times per level. So, if we were to do it again, it will times it by 3. So, it's pretty cool. 
Uh, we can do the same for the axe, but obviously we're not going to show you into full depth in this video. We've got mines. Now, if you want to go mining, if you think, oh, well, I need to go mining, you know, what's going on there? Well, you can do that. Now, if you try and break the, actually, I'll do it for car. If you try and break this, it won't work. If you try and break any ore, it won't work unless you succeeded the amount of levels. Uh, for example, uh, mining level 5, obviously you're currently level to 0, so obviously that wouldn't work. Um, but obviously you can get stone if you're new here. If you're new here, you just get stone, and it'll be simple as that. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. You can get as much stone as you can. I think we'll go up to 64, but obviously, you know, we're still kind of noobs here. We don't know the full depth of what the game is, so obviously this video should help you that. Uh, so basically, just do it... Just do the order from the video, it's pretty cool. I, I don't I don't know why I'm hearing noises, but yeah, whatever. Um but yeah, we can try and see how okay. The durability is going quite fast, so you might want to bring a few pickaxes unless I fix the issue. Uh but yeah, you, it's your choice. You do what you want. But um this is just the, ba the basics of getting started. <coughs> so as you can see, we have got thirty oh no, I don't want to marry that. We've got 32 nearly, which is pretty ideal, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but as you can see, these are vanilla drops, but obviously some of them are kind of weird, but you know, it's all good. <clears throat> but as you can see, let's, I want to see if we can get 64 before I before it runs out, because 64 is what I need for later on. Um, but if not, I can get myself another pickaxe if I have to. <clears throat> but yeah, um... We're getting quite low. In fact, we're getting very low at the moment. Hopefully, we're not going to run out. Oh, yeah, we are running out. All right. But as I said, if you try and mine any of these, it it won't let you unless you want a succeeded level. So we're on level two right now. So we need three more levels to get to level five, and then we can mine coal ore. When we're doing this video, may not, may not. We we don't know yet. <clears throat> okay. And also, as you pretty noticed, it doesn't actually drop on the floor. It goes directly to your inventory. And plus, the, if you're wondering why the particles, or the block breaking particles, are uh, not showing, it's to prevent lag for lower devices. So we do think of lower devices a lot, uh, which is something Nick on the server. If we give ourselves, we should have one more um, wooden underscore pickaxe. Yeah, we only. I think yeah, we we need four more. So all is well. And you're probably wondering when do these regrow? They regrow every uh, 60 seconds. So as you can see, it's starting to regrow. Uh, or should I say regenerate? Because it's regenerate all the uh, walls into its normal glory. Let's go to the question table. Let's go IS go, just so we don't do anything stupid. But if we do, uh, there's a menu called question table. If we go to Crusher, it will detail it all. So uh, if we go to Crusher, it will simply uh, come up with this. Now how this works guys is it's the crushing table. So uh, the crusher, so crush cobblestone and stone. So basically how it works is you can crush cobble and stone variants for a chance to find hidden materials. Um, basically we're gonna, we might add the whole shift to grind in top entire inventory very soon but this is just kind of buggy at the moment. We're not sure what we're gonna do with that yet. But you've got possible items. So guys before you click anything you have to read the possible items because you won't know unless you do it and you just read it. Uh, but it says possible items, worthless dust, coal, iron nugget, which is iron ingot, and melon nut, which is basically melons. Um, so, and you've got the same here. We're not going to show all of these in this video, but I just wanted to do a quick uh, tutorial slash guide on it. Uh, but as you can see, if we get ourselves enough, we should be able to get a lot of glory. Um, I don't know if you want to save all of these up, but it is t entirely your choice if you want to do that or not. I guess coal could be good for a reason. Um, okay, I don't know why it's doing that, but um, yeah. So I don't know why I did that, but um, but yeah. And the next one you want to do is this compost. So if you have enough seeds and you think, oh, I have enough seeds, you know, why not do it? This is basically like the crusher, but obviously it's a compost. So you compost any of the farming materials that are displayed on here for you, and you can turn them into better items. So we're going to do seeds today, and then we're going to go to leaves, and I think that's about it. If you want to do saplings, you may do, but it's totally your choice. If you want to have strength for about a thousand minutes or whatever, you can do that, but it's obviously up to you. Um, but yeah, if we uh, 
do this. If possible items, plant waste, leaves, cause dirt, and a sense of regeneration. We don't want reset generation because, I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong, all the potions are good, but obviously we need speed just because it's the main one that we're going to look at. And it's the main custom potion as well, so it's pretty cool. As you can see here, uh, let's just see if we can get en enough leaves. I think that's all we want really, leaves. Uh, and then we can go get speed if we can. Oh, I just realised I've got so much seeds, it's not even funny. I could try and grind all that, you know. I want to see how much we can get. Uh, we need... Uh, seven, okay, we're going down a lot. Um, but yeah, if, if you want to put stuff in a chest, you may do so. I'm going to put them in a chest myself. Um, mm, there we go. Oh, God. Go into compost again. And hopefully ensure that we actually do stuff. Um, a sense of speed. Okay, we can use that for sapling days so on, or we could place it down, which is probably best to do it, I guess. Um, oh, whoops. Do 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 do. Am I being up? Oh. Okay, let's see if we can run up down all this, just so we know. How many? Okay, scissor speed is pretty rare, not gonna lie. At least we got ourselves a potion. That's all we need, really. That's all we need. Now, when you are done composting, if you think you've done enough, you can do a slash burn. Now, keep in mind, guys, these are massively expensive. It's going to take a lot, and I mean a lot of grinding to do. So how this works, guys, is you've got the tyres. Now, the tyre one is obviously easy. You only get one. You need one or whatever, and it does a certain amount of time. Now, as you progressively get higher, you've got um, up to six, which is about 900 to 1,000 um, a sense of strength, for example. And then you've got 500 times a sense of absorption. So, obviously, this is pretty hard to get. And the only way you can get it is by composting seeds and stuff like that. Or at least composting leaves uh, for speed or, or absorption. And, yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, so, basically, it's like absorption but it's renamed basically so yeah um let's try and see if we can buy this so as you can see we've got ourselves weak absorption potion now how this works every do slash guide i can show you how it works so as you can see uh the damage protection amount is going to be either one or one but obviously it's zero at the moment because i don't know it's not completed properly but um, the range, the minimum range, a uh, range, sorry, not range, uh, will go up by 250. Now, what that means is when once we've absorbed 250, the protection amount will be 250 damage. Now, how it works is when you fight mobs or players, for that matter, or anything as such, your protection amount will start to decrease. Now, per hit, depending on how much damage it takes within vanilla, it it goes down within vanilla standards. Now, once it all go down, it will you will start to take damage and you will lose all your hearts. Now, that's kind of a good way to ensure that you won't die for a long time until all your protection amount has run out. Now, you might want to keep in mind that if you do run out, then you probably will die. I mean, this will probably be good for dungeons, but obviously, if you're not up to that speed yet, you probably shouldn't do this. But um, it's just totally up to you. So anyway, let's drink the potion and see how, well, we know how much, let's just see if it works. So if we do slash guide, as you can see, we should have 250 uh, range. Yeah, so this is the protection we have. Uh, more, The more protection you have as the minimum, the more, the higher, like, the higher protection and the higher, yeah, the higher protection you have. Which, in my opinion, it is a pretty awesome thing to do. Slash farms. Um, and we can actually farm. So if we um, I win ten, please MC. Let's just get ourselves two times six because obviously let's pretend we're high level. Or we can have a wooden sword. It's totally up to you. But obviously, um, as you can see, these are mobs. Now how it works is you can basically receive. You can go to farming world to obtain your farming. Not not farming. Fight and sword skills. Which is pretty cool. Now there is obviously a chance of it dropping gold ingot just like that. And what you can do with gold ingot, it's, it's not really been decided yet. But we're probably planning on you can buy things from the gold balance shop. Or something along those lines. And you can basically use that to buy certain aspects of the items and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, 
Oh yeah, I was also going to show you that if you can actually see a sheep. So if we remove all this, actually I want to remove this one by hand, there we go. Actually, I'm not, I'm going to, oh god, did I just, alright, um, so if we get ourselves, you can actually shear sheeps now. So shear, shearing sheeps is a part of the skill level, um, and if we do that, as you can see we've got shear skill is now level 1, um, which is pretty cool indeed. The fun thing about creepers, you want to know what the fun creepers about, thing about creepers is. So if we, say, if we were to make water, now obviously you wouldn't have water, the commands for obvious reasons. But let's just say we did some uh, world of it. As you can see, if you try and kill a creeper, it won't blow up. The only way you can kill it is by killing it using your fist or, as you would normally for put it in the void somehow. But obviously, not like it's currently an issue on this server. I'm not sure if it's going to be fixed or even it's a Minecraft glitch, I don't know. but Or a Pokemon glitch or whatever. But obviously... That is to be undecided, but um, but as you can see, creepers won't actually die from explosions anymore. They would, they would, the only way you can kill them is by killing them with your sword or fist or whatever you use it for. Which one minute it is pretty cool because if you if you happen to find a creeper, you know, and it explodes, then it's no fun. It's just a boring old skyblock themed state, uh, which is pretty cool. Who is the fishing warp? So if we give ourselves fishing underscore rod, we can actually show you details of the warp. Uh, as you can see, uh, actually it's, not, it's fishing, isn't it? Yeah. So let's just go fishing, basically. So um, as you will note, you spawn here. You can uh, go all sorts of places. Pretty cool. Uh, but as you know, you can't go out of the border because if you try to, it won't let you. Which is also a good thing about Scablet Adventure. It just won't let you go out of the border. But if you really want to find fish and get empty mode skills, or I should say skills really, but if you want to find skills, go ahead. Um, but yeah, that's a good way of getting your skill levels up and as well as anything else, see your skills. So as you can see, we've got fishing skills now level 1, your fishing rod skill is now level 1. And the good thing about this guys, as you probably noticed during the video, is whenever, whenever you've leveled up your skill, you actually receive money. Um, it's, it depends on how much level you're on. So if you're on level 1000, you probably would receive like, a lot of money, which I don't really want to go through. But, you know, it's pretty cool. It takes a lot of grinding to do, um, which is pretty awesome. Let me mark it. If we do slash, I don't know, not, okay. If we go to slash spawn, uh, it will instantly teleport, so no, no more need to realize that it will take ages to teleport even with lag so it's pretty cool but these are the warps we're going to go through them later on but the main one we're going to go through first is the market now the market offers uh quite a few things there's not much in it at the moment which we're going to try and fix very soon um but yeah we're, we're still working on it yeah so the, the the this market isn't complete yet but if you do slash the e c shop it basically means chess, chess shop but we plan to rename it just to slash market very soon. But if we click blocks, currently there's a few that are glitchy, but obviously we won't talk about that. But um, there is a few blocks we we may plan to add more very soon, but that all depends on the circumstances. But you can basically buy blocks using that money that you have, whether you have twenty thousand, ten thousand, whatever, you can still get it. So pretty cool. So diamond costs ten k. So you want to buy it, you can buy it. But as you can see, you don't have enough money. So, yes, yeah, pretty cool. Oh, inventory. Now, this is probably what I'm most hyped about to, to tell you. Uh, but if we give ourselves diamond and we give ourselves emerald. So, as you can see, if we do, obviously, so, you know, there's something interesting and in that it's the same old thing. But we have made changes to sell inventory where I come up with chest GUI. But obviously, you can, basically, what you can do is. All of this are sellable things you have in your inventory, you can put it there. So say diamond emerald are sellable, you put it in there. Uh, once you've put all the things you want to sell in the chest, whether it will let you or not, depending on if it's sellable, you can uh, close it and then it will say, are you sure you'd like to sell this inventory or inventory? Now the total cost for 64 diamonds and 64 emeralds is $966, which is kind of understandable. It's kind of understandable, sorry. Um, but if you click confirm purchase, it will say you successfully sold into it. Yeah, so you got 3k already. So it's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's good how stuff these worth. But you know, settings. <clears throat> and you could basically toggle on or off these settings. 
So chat settings, basically island chat, which we'll show you later on. You've got island settings. You've got item dropping, which is disabled uh, at the moment, I believe. And then you've got hotbar crystal. Now, how this works is the so in other words, you can basically turn on item dropping or disable it, which we'll tell you later on. But if we go to island settings, so keep in mind, guys, that you have a access to bypass to any of these settings if you're the island owner for obvious reasons. So even if building is disabled, you still be able to build. It's just for the visitors and members of the island that won't that don't have a bypass to this, nor can they see the settings. Um, which is pretty cool. Now PvP is disabled by default for obvious reasons because you, why would you want PvP on your island? It just makes it very uncomfortable and basically not suited to play. So if you, it's disabled by default, but if you want to uh, enable it, you can do. Up to you, though. Uh, but you've got Ender Chest. So these are all of the current settings that you can toggle on or off. May add more in the future, who knows. Um, but yeah, these are the island settings. But in normal Skyblock, if you were to say um, drop like say if you were to accidentally drop an item using Q, as you can see, you cannot drop items because you have item dropping disabled. But why would you want item? Oh god. Okay. But anyway, so if you um use I settings, obviously you might have to rename that to slash guide, but we'll have to have, think about that. But if we go to guide and go to settings and then go to um there, so as you can see, item dropping disabled. You can click to enable it. Um, but obviously it's disabled by default because uh, for obvious reasons because obviously why would you want island dropping to be enabled when it will just cause many major issues and you know stuff like that but say if you wanted to put it enabled for some weird reason if you want to put it enabled you can do if you want to put it disabled it's totally your choice but if you uh, say you've dropped some uh, steak as you can see, it will teleport. Now, this is not like any other Skyblock service because normally on Skyblock service, if you lose, if you drop your item into the void, your stuff are completely lost forever. There's no going back whatsoever. But no, we've made this possible and toggleable. Go to slash guide, and we go to menu settings. And if we're gonna make this much easier very soon, don't worry, guys. This is just the beginning. But if we, uh, you can basically click chat settings, and then it will toggle your chat to island now only island members of your island can see this uh which is pretty cool it's it's you don't really see much island chats on service these days do you it's pretty cool but we actually have it exclusive for you um but if you want to disable it obviously you can just do that which will make it public of course you, uh obviously we've got item dropping uh we're gonna probably disable that again and yeah pretty cool actually where hold on there, there we go but yeah as you can see um You've got island settings, um, is PVE world. Actually, before we do that, I want to show you the hotbar crystal. How it works is it's going to be enabled by default because for obvious reasons. But if you, but for now, I've kept it enabled. Um, if everyone wants to save it, you can do so. But basically, how it works is you can't move the guide, you can't drop it anywhere. Like, if you try to, it won't work. So the only way you can get rid of it is by doing slash guide. But how it works before I tell you is uh, it's basically a quick way of going to the menu, the guide menu, just so if you don't want to type the command, you could do that. But say if you wanted to get rid of it, you've done reading it or anything like that, you can just go to menu settings and you can click um, hotbar crystal enable. So if you click to disabled, um, but obviously we're going to make this enabled by default very soon, hopefully. Um, so yeah, it's the PvE world. Now the PvE world is currently not finished. There's still a lot of broken, not broken, but there's still a lot of issues that maintain it, obviously. Um, but let's just say we somehow got OP within a lot of time. Say if we just happen to be that OP in about, I don't know how long, but could be taking ages, but say if we did get that OP that quickly, you know, we could get ourselves shield. Now, shield is actually usable on the server, which I'm going to show you in just a second how it works. But yeah, say mobs spawn here, you can basically fight the mobs, most likely zombies, but undecided. Uh, but yeah, let's just go into GMC and fly down. There we go. But yeah, as you can see, if we try to get ourselves uh, free of free, phase two, game mode S. But as you can see, as you can see, as you can see, you can use the skill levels to do that. 
So not going to damage me that much because obviously I've got my shield, which prevents them from trying to kill me that much. So yeah, shields are working on the server now, which is pretty cool. I just like that, that, that functionality. It wasn't going to hit me over the game, but I hope that you can. Okay, so I'm going to go down here just so I don't die. I'm going to have to, no choice. Uh, okay. Okay, but yeah, as you can see, um, pretty cool. You've got. Wait, let me see if I did damage. Okie dokie. Now let's retry. Okay, let me just see if I did damage. Okay, body, I don't know if it's because of the armor. But I think that's because of the protection I'm not we checked out earlier, so it's pretty cool. Let's just give her up, actually. So, as you can see, let's just see if we can get ourselves. There we go. So, basically, new shields whilst in PvP or killing mobs, whatever you your suits you, I guess. Guys, we are going to be detailing to you the quest. Now, there's a new feature we've added on the server called Quest D. That's not like you, any other quest where you complete all the quests equals the prize. No, that's not how it works. It's going to be quite hard to get used to, but how it works is you go to the Quest D. It's called the Quest D, so whenever you unlock new tires of Quest, you can come onto Quest D and you can obviously click to unlock. But you've got the how it works is you've got Quest, so you've got Tire 1, Tire 2, Tire 3, and Tire 4. Now each tire comes with their own set of Quests. So Quest 1 could be easy, Quest 2 could be, uh, Tire Quest 2, two could be uh, medium, Tire Quest level 3 could be hard and tire quest level 4 could be advanced now the advanced one probably has like dungeons which will probably detail into the next video uh, but it says today if you just unlocked it so the quest tire started so as you can see all we need to do is mine wood but obviously you could do that at the beginning if you really wanted to but obviously do the quest again it's your choice whatever suits you but I, I suggest you go for the quest but obviously the more the more harder the quest is, the more you might have to wait a bit and grind, but you know, it's all good. Guys, enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, and part two will probably be dungeons when it's released or when it's done. Uh, but the dungeons will be coming out, not sure when, but it's going to come up very soon, hopefully, as of posting this. Depends on when the dungeon is complete, but we still, there's going to be up to five levels, that's all you need to know. We don't know anything else but that, or, we, yeah. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Hello, Nate. Leave a like, and I'll be seeing you guys very soon. And if you guys are hyped for Scabbler Adventure, be sure to leave that. And we've got a ton of more exclusive features for you waiting. But, anyways, leave a like, comment below what you think, and thank you guys for watching. Hello, Nate. And peace.